you never know what might happen. You've got to get out, that's the most important thing. Get up, get out, and it doesn't get better than this. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So I am out again, which is fantastic. And today I've come to a place called the Roaches, but I've come to a different area of the Roaches and I'm gonna hopefully hike up the ridge just behind me here. Not very far, I say hike, it's not a big hike. And I'm gonna try some long lens photography with my 100 to 400 millimeter lens. This could completely fail. It's one of the things that I really wanna do more of this year. I've talked about it before. I do lots of wide angle photography but I really want to start shooting a little bit more with my um, long lens. It's really just a trial. I want to try things out. I want to see what I can handhold, see what I can put on my tripod, ready for when I'm in Wales and then the Lake District, because Mass is coming over, Mass Peter Everson, and we're going to meet up with James. We're going to do some content over the next few weeks. So I just want to try it out a little bit for that. I think we should get some good photos as well. I will shoot with my other lens, so it's not just going to be just the 100-400. But yeah, it's a beautiful area here. Better get going. Oh, so it's a beautiful morning, no wind, which is surprising because there's always wind here. And there's a bit of fog in the valleys, but it's quite hazy. But it's so nice to be out. It's so, so nice to be out. And I just don't know what I get, I'm gonna get. I have to say though, getting up was difficult and I always have to remind myself that an hour on the mountain is always better than an hour in bed. Beautiful. My heart was on its way out. I wasn't so Okay, so in this long lens video, the first shot is probably not gonna be long lens. It might be reasonably long, but I think I need a little bit more light just to break through this haze a little bit. Some sunlight would look really good. So whilst we're waiting for that, because there's a cloud on the horizon, I just think this works really well in the light that we've got at the moment. And it's a beautiful little old barn down here. The foreground here is a bit messy, but I think it'll work. I'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, so I was about to shoot this rock and sort of get it to line up the barn, but it was just getting too overcomplicated. And I think this will just become a big mass on the right hand side. So I'm gonna make it simpler. And I'm just gonna have the grasses. I'm just gonna move forward a little bit. And I think around about here will work, but I am going to just hand hold it and find the exact spot. Before I put my tripod down. Yeah, I think it's just simple there actually. Works pretty well. Always a good idea to handhold first, then get your tripod set up. And then we can fine tune it. So it's a fairly simple shot, this. The cloud's a little bit tricky because you've got this sort of band of cloud here and the light above it's quite nice. And I'm in two minds of whether to completely get rid of that or include this little bit of sky at the top. Quite often in landscape photography, you've got to consider the sky just as much as the foreground. I always think of, you know, that, that usually your subject's in the middle and you've got to think how you're going to get the eye to come down from the top and up from the bottom into that middle area. Um, and so I'm not sure about this. So I've, I've taken a bit of a wider shot with the, some of the sky in I like that because here you can see that there's a fog leading in that, and also there's more room around the trees and I quite like that. It just, just means the subject of the trees and the, the barn work really nicely together. I, I'm not sure about this tree here. So when we walk a little bit higher, I might, I might just walk a bit up there and see if I can get rid of that tree and group these together a little bit more. Um, and yeah, apart from that, it's simple. It's like F8, just shoot it. There's nothing in the foreground really. And even if these grasses here are out of focus, I'm not too bothered. So I'm gonna take that at a sort of a closer up and a wider shot and then I'll move up there a little bit and see what we can get. I 
tried to go a little bit higher to get rid of that tree and it didn't really work. The tree behind these group of trees with the um, barn. So I've come lower to try and hide the tree. The problem with that is, is that this tree here sort of gets connected to the trees in the background. So I don't like that quite as much, but the grasses here are nice. So I'm gonna do a vertical shot of the grasses, um, which I think will look pretty good. And then, yeah, maybe we just need some sun now. If we just had some sun on, really when you're doing really long lens stuff, you want to have a little bit of light, just sort of trying to create a bit of depth in the distance, otherwise it's just gonna look very flat. So I'm hoping the sun will come out in the next 30 minutes or so. <laughs> you never know. Right, so I'll take this shot, this, and um, you can see the problem, and I'll show you both together. So the one that I took there with the tree, behind it but you could still see it and the tree where it's completely hidden but then I'm a bit low. First long lens shot, I've still got my 24 to 120 on, but I'm shooting at 120. Again, this hut, I'm a little bit lower, and I've decided just to get these grasses because they're really nice, just out of focus here. Then we've got the hut, and then we've got the um, fog in the background, which is actually in focus, but it doesn't really look like it's in focus because it's quite sort of mellow. And it looks pretty good. There's no light, and the, I, I feel like the trees, the luminosity level of the trees is, is quite strong. If, if the sun just came out a little bit, I think we'd get quite a nice reflected light back into the scene, um, or diffuse light back into the scene, but yeah. I think that's it for this hut. I'm gonna go a little bit higher, see what else we can find. Okay, well, I'm not sure what the title of this video ended up being because it was going to be shooting with a long lens. I have not really shot anything with my long lens apart from a pheasant that flew away and I just got a rock. So, the moral of it is really that you've got to change tact. You know, you go out, you might think you're going to shoot something, things change, weather changes, you know, the location might not be exactly as you thought it was going to be. Just enjoy it, I think it's the most important thing. You're not always gonna go out and get amazing shots. Um, I've actually found quite a decent shot here, which I'll talk about now, but you know, you've just gotta not be too set in your ways, I think. I'd come out actually doing a video on these long lens and the reality is that it's just a bit hazy, I think, for a long lens. I might try still to get one, but I don't think I'm gonna. So this shot is actually shot at 70 mil, so it's not wide. Um, and it's a few components to it and I quite like it. it. So the sun is just coming from the side a little bit from behind, so it's illuminating these rocks here. There's a little bit of haze in the valley down there. The clouds at the back aren't brilliant, but what I quite like is that this mountain here is called Shutland Slow. It's one of the biggest um, hills around. Say mountain, it's just a hill. But um, it's quite nice to have a slightly different angle on it and I feel like there's a bit of depth to this photo. I like the grasses in the foreground just catching the light as well. So I think I've got something decent in the end and you never know what might happen. You've got to get out, that's the most important thing. Get up, get out, and it doesn't get better than this. Just wanna watch them stars fall. Okay, I've just filled my card up, so whilst I'm just remember, top tip. So if you've got a, a, a card holder like this, what I do when I fill the card up, as I always, when I take out my card that's full, 
and I try and take as many cards on a trip that will cover everything so I don't have to delete them. I turn the card upside down and put it in there and then take my new card out and then put it in my camera so I know which cards I've used and which I haven't. And that, um, I usually have a couple of these um, with cards in and it just works really well. And the other thing whilst I'm on it is Lexar have kindly agreed to sponsor this video and I'm really happy about that because I love their cards. They've saved me in a couple of situations where I've dropped the card, been in snow, and they're really fantastic. They're also super fast as well, which is really good when you're shooting 4K, 120 frames per second, or you want to transfer your photos quick there. Lexar Professional Series in the SD cards and the XQD cards are really good, and I can't recommend them highly enough. Anyway, the sun's coming out. We've got to try and get another shot, haven't we? Make up dreams just to be seen i want to lay here beside you oh quiet okay i'm at the top now and as you can see it's quite hazy um the, the, the sun hasn't come out early enough so the haze hasn't burnt off and you've got to be really careful when you're shooting with a long lens that you, you do need some strong sunlight to create a little bit of contours in the land that's the sun coming stronger you can see it's improving a little bit but I, I think the shot at the moment with a long lens is, is back into the sun there's a road coming down there and I feel like that's probably the shot as you come round you'll, you'll see it in a minute um, also the rays are coming so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my camera over there and um, you can see as you're coming round you can come and follow me and um, yeah you also wave at Rick it's not what we know, it's where we go. Okay, I've just taken a shot over here at 400 millimeters, and you can't really see it now because the sun has changed the scene so much. So there's a road just down at the bottom of the picture here. You can't even see when I point because I'm at 400 millimeters, but the background of it is really nice. There's a lot of layers in it. Um, and there's also, a farm on the right hand side here and I'll show you the photo as I'm talking about it I think because that's easiest and I think this works okay I've shot directly into the sun here I've used the sun reflecting off the road to create something really interesting so I think yeah I think that, that's not bad but it definitely wasn't a long lens day but that's something learnt you always learn something and I think that's it we'll go back and um, have a look at the photos well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I think there's a lesson there really. Um, first of all, <laughs> that I went thinking that I would shoot some long lens shots. And I say long lens with my 100 to 400 millimeter lens. I, I wanted to make a video all about that. And unfortunately it didn't work out and things just don't work out sometimes. This time I was probably in the wrong place, if I'm honest, and it was just really hazy. Uh, and what I wanted, was conditions more like this shot here where there was a little bit of fog and the, the, the light would come through that fog. That happens all the time. You know, probably 90% of the time that I go out, I don't get the images that I want. I'm usually in the wrong place. <laughs> um, I usually think, wish I'd gone somewhere else. All the type of things that I'm sure you, you guys think as well. But, um, but if you don't go out, you don't get lucky. You know, you never get a good photo just by staying at home. So as I said, in the video, you always remember that hour on the mountain, but you never remember it in bed. But I think the most important thing is that I learned something, I found out a little bit more about the area. I took some okay photos and I printed them out. I'll show you those in a minute. I'll talk a little bit more about those, but I enjoyed it. I had a fantastic time. And that's more important than anything because you've just got to enjoy it. You're not going to force yourself to think, oh, it's not the right conditions for this shot. You've just got to adapt, do, do, do something different. And if you just enjoy it and just let the environment come to you rather than you try and chase it, then I think you start to see things differently and find better shots really. So yeah, um, you know, it wasn't the, the day for my 100 to, to 200, but it was the day for my 24 to 120, which worked really well. And I got these shots. So um, this shot, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with. I think it worked quite well. Considering there was no light, on the um, hut here. You know, I got lucky with this sh sheep down here, um, just sitting there. 
Um, and all this was sort of in shade. There was a little bit of reflected light. You can just catch it on the top of the trees or sort of diffuse light. And the background's really nice as well. And I probably, you know, underestimated just how nice this, this scene was really. It's not gonna win any awards. It's just a nice picture postcard shot really, but I like it. And I definitely think it's a location that I can go back to maybe when the conditions are a little bit differently. I do like cropping that tree off there and not trying to include where the tree crosses that background tree. If you remember when I was talking about it in the video, I think that works a lot better. And then, oh, and then this one is, um, is a nice shot as well. So the other one was shot at about 100 millimeters. This was about 60 millimeters, I think. And again, I really, really like um, this ridge line here and these rocks. I think it's just something a bit different. Again, I just tried to just adapt and do, do something a bit different. The sky's really, really boring, so I haven't included much of it. The, above that, where there was a bit of blue sky and it was catching some nice colors, it just there was a lot of just plain trails which didn't work very well. But I think this works really nicely. So I got a couple of nice prints. I really enjoyed it. And I think it just proves that you're not always gonna get amazing shots. You're not always gonna get amazing conditions. Photography is a game of patience, really. It's a game of observation. You know, it's a game of adaptation. All those sort of things are really, really important. And the most important thing is just enjoying what you do. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Till next Sunday, bye. It's not what we see, it's what we choose to